Today's video market update is a reference to the city of Norfolk. If you're a buyer or a seller, this is great information that will certainly keep you updated on what's going on in that city. Let's get right to the video. All right, let's get right to the data. So November 2022, looking at the city of Norfolk, Virginia, and comparing it to November of 2021, here we go, $275,400 is our median sales price for November of 2022. That is a slight increase um, from the 267,500 from last November. Yeah, pretty much staying the exact same as it did in October, uh, the 275.9. Uh, so yeah, uh, are we going to see this go up in this in, uh, for the month of December? I don't know. This is November's number. Uh, it's a tough time right now. We're going to see what the rest of the data tells us. 229 were our settled sales for November of 2022. Here we go. Look at this. Settled sales were 339, 32.4% decrease from last November for settled sales. And boy, just from October, it went down from 282 to 229 for closed transactions. Um, so lots of some interesting data there. You can see that the highest was 398 back in May. We're at 229. Um, what does that tell you, right? 19 days is our median days on market. How long does it take to uh, get a home under contract? 19 is still not bad. You can see back here it took 14, and then it went all the way up to 19, and then came back down. In October, it was 17. And so here we are at 19 right now for median days on market. Uh, 462 are our active listings. This number is uh, down from 494 of uh, current inventory, active inventory in the month of November. And uh, pretty much staying the same. Uh, October was 503, so an 8% uh, decrease from October. $177 was our median uh, dollar, per, uh, dollar per square foot. And uh, for sold dollar per square foot, 173 is what it was a year ago. The dollar per square, the dollar per square foot is staying relatively the same, much like the median sales price. Not a lot of difference there. 237 new listings on the market. That number is down from the 332 of where it was last year at this time. That's a 28. 29% decrease and wow, a decrease from October where it was 319 new listings. You're still getting full price though, sellers in the month of November, you were still getting full price just like you'd have uh, for the last 12 months and two months supply of inventory. Wow, look at that. That's the first time we've seen two months supply of inventory uh, in a while. I got to tell you, this number is usually in that three, four to uh, six, seven months of inventory. So what it means is how many months will it take to liquidate our current inventory if we didn't add any new inventory? And uh, as this number goes up, it tells us that the market is slowing down. That is definitely an indicator uh, right there for uh, that, that we use as realtors. So what does this all mean? Well, if you're a buyer, it still means you need to write a really tight offer and uh, use a professional to help you put that offer together. And if you're a seller, it means that you're still getting full price. I'm not sure how much longer that's going to happen or what the definition of full price is because things are changing in our economy and we are in the winter months and the winter months are definitely different. So save your equity, save your money. You should check us out. Redefy, R-E-D-E-F-Y, flatfee.com. We're a flat fee company. We uh, charge a, a $300 setup fee and a $5,500 fee at the end. That is all that you uh, pay on the listing side. Um, for example, a $700,000 listing at a 3% commission, that's $21,000. We're $5,500 plus a $300 setup fee. Professional photographer, a realtor comes out to your home, does a market analysis, everything full service, flat fee. Check us out. R-E-D-E-F-Y, flatfee.com. Um, we're going to be back next month looking at January. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stay safe out there.